Eddie is letting me review his 2.0 Turbo Accord. It's a 2021 and he bought it January 2nd and it's already tuned by Derek Robinson. Do you know like your, your power estimate? Power estimate, I would, with, as I run a gallon of ethanol too, so I don't know if that increases it over 93 at all. Like 280, 290 wheel, probably like around 340 to 360 torque. Holy Just cause smokes. depending on the car, I don't wanna save certain numbers. But I know Farable had their what, their stage three made 303 wheel, like 360 something torque. You had a 1.5 Accord and you had K-Tuner, you had a bunch of stuff done to that. And then right when you bought this car, you immediately plugged in your K-Tuner. Yeah, on the night, like literally driving home from the dealership. <laughs> yeah, it had the K-Tuner already locked to it, the tune loaded. I didn't tune the car till it hit 600 miles. I actually drove down to Stockton to some of my friends and we put the intake on. So I ordered the intake yeah, the day I bought it. Let's take a look at the intake. So you order the intake the day you got it, the PRL, what do they call this for the 2.0, the high volume intake? Yeah, it's just, a, yeah, I think it's just, I don't think it's a stage two or one or anything, it's just a high volume. Very good quality stuff from PRL, man. The SI's, the PRL intake went all the way down here. Well, so is this? The SI is a, a real cold air intake, isn't it? A yeah. Cold, yeah, I don't think this is considered a cold air intake. I mean, it's got a, you know, it's a closed box, so it's better than just having an open one, but I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't say, like, I don't say I have a cold air intake. I just say I have a high volume intake. For All right. Well, hey, I'm sure it sounds good. I'm excited to hear it. And you also painted this. What color is that? To be honest with you, I have no idea. It's <laughs> caliper paint. Dude, but, you're cracking me up, man. Yeah, so it you just. Kinda, you kind of don't give a shit. I mean, I give a shit, but it's like, I don't at the same time. I mean, I have had one of these cars for, I've had it for two years, technically. This is just a new one. Right. And I think when you drive something, it's like, go from a really slow version of your car that all of a sudden you have a car that makes 150 more pounds of torque and like 100 more horsepower. Yeah. So it's like... Huge difference. Yeah, huge it's difference. A big difference. What else is done to it? Uh, the, I mean, the chrome blackout, the simple stuff. I have these little mirror caps from Synth Carbon. Uh, That's really nice. Oh, this, this chrome delete is done yeah, very well. Did you get it done? I got it done in, I think it's satin, to be honest with you. I wanted to change it up because I got gloss last time. And I just thought it blended in too much. I wanted you to be able to see the. So you brought it to a shop? Yeah, my buddy down at Modesto actually uh, changed the pencil around. I mean, that came out yeah, he does really, really good. good. I should have ordered my Type R in black. I love it. Oh, yeah. this right here? No, I did that. Nice. But, but this this whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the custom badges are from car, uh, Hawaii Carbon. This looks good and it actually re it matches the paint pretty, yeah, it, pretty yeah. well. Stock intercooler, I can tell. Yeah, that's you my, need you need an intercooler. My, well, my next mods are I would like preparation mods, I guess you could say. Uh, like I ordered lower upper engine mounts, uh, oil catch can. Uh, I haven't ordered the intercooler yet, but that's next, and then a flex fuel kit. Okay. Yeah, those are my next, and then downpipe, front pipe, for sure. And then either someone's selling me their Type R turbo, or I'm getting a P600. But I won't get the P600 until they have a fuel mod because I can make 400 wheel. PRL awesome. made, what, they claim like 580, 560 or 580 wheel horsepower on a Type R on that Holy turbo. Crap. So, I mean, the only difference, not the only difference, the only thing holding the Accord back, what I've been told, looking through Facebook groups, is the fuel. Joel, the dude who's got a big turbo Type R that already makes like 490 wheel, 480 yeah. wheel, uh, is trying to get it to work, at least from what I remember seeing. So, if that comes out, you might see 500 horsepower Accords here pretty soon. That would stock be nuts. Block, uh, stock transmission. Yeah. With never been opened up, nothing. That would be absolutely nuts. Let me take a look at the inside. Man, this is beautiful. Yeah, dude. These freaking cars, dude. It's as beautiful as I can do when I eat lunch in it. <laughs> this is gorgeous. It's all blacked out, man. This is just nice. Do they make uh, exhausts for these cars? Oh, yeah. They oh, yeah, okay. I just, I like them, like I have friends with them and they sound good. I just don't, like I like being stealthy, quote unquote. Okay. I just don't, I don't know. I don't so like So you do it. a downpipe and then just kind of feel it well, out it'll there? It'll be a catalyst downpipe, front pipe, but I think, I mean, maybe like a resonator delete or all that, but I don't, just cause I, I don't know. I like it being quiet. If you ever mess up and get on it next to a cop or something like that, mm. it's like, I'd just rather not be screaming. Yeah, I agree. Especially you. launching these things. I've heard them with an exhaust because they spin, and when you upgrade stuff, they'll bounce off rev limiters. And I launch it enough, so I just don't want to, uh, don't want to draw attention.
father. Nothing wrong with it, dude. I'm just you're, like, you're secretly judging me. I can tell. Not at all. No, I'm it's fine, dude. I get it. <laughs> I'm just comfortable chilling back. I wish this thing went back more. All right, brothers, let's do this. Do you want to do highway or no? I can care less. You can go where you want. I really like your attitude, man. Hey, you got a half a tank of gas. <laughs> Not gonna <make> gas. <laughs> Hell, I'll probably you're, need more gas tomorrow. You're anyway. fucking cracking me up, dude. Whoa, what, what, what am I getting right now? 19 miles to the gallon. This thing feels light. Yeah. It feels really light. Does it have a sport mode? Yeah. You want it in it? Yeah, I'll try it out. Oh, yeah. Steering stiffened up. Yeah, I mean, it's it's accelerating just effortlessly. My foot is barely on the pedal. Did, did uh, the tune from Derek make it more aggressive, too? The throttle response and all that type of stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, see, I, I tuned it. And then the, the day after I tuned it, I didn't like the knock control, so I, I bought a tune from D-Rob. So this thing never really saw a stage two, like a K-Turner. Okay. And at the time, I mean, it was so much faster than my 1.5 just to begin with. Oh, yeah. It's like, I, to be honest with you, I can't even give a good judgment just because it was still like, oh, holy shit, what did I do? Was your 1.5 tuned as well? Yeah, 1.5 was a full bolt-on tune. This thing will pull the doors off in stock. I'm going to let it warm up a little bit. 172 degrees should be good. Where do you see that? Oh, duh, the freaking k tuner right there. First of all, I love that it's black. Yeah, that right that. there, I think this is such an attractive car. And I really like what they did with the tension cords. They made it, the roof line, it looks like uh, an Audi. It's, uh, to be honest, if you're next to an A7, you could yeah, tell yeah. the difference. Especially with me being deep badged and blacked out, you oh, yeah. think it was an Audi. Are you gonna do wheels too? Yeah, eventually. These the stock do the stock wheels on these weigh thirty seven pounds. That's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's real heavy. But I'm probably gonna go at like an eighteen setup on like a two sixty five. Like a, I want, like I love the stance look. Don't get me wrong. I just want the quote unquote race car like meeting look. You want the you want yeah. it to still be functional. Yeah. But tell them um, what kind of cars you have come across and, and raced uh, so far. I. I don't know the mods on it, but I beat a scat pack, a charger, on the highway. Uh, the other morning, I beat a BMW 650i, a, a two-door version of it. I've played with a C43 AMG at like 150, uh, beat an Audi S5, a two-door. Do you have any tickets? No, I have a clean driver. Oh. Record. <laughs> Yeah, I've made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smokes, I don't know. brother. And to be honest with you, I'm really lucky. There'll be times where like I'm doing like 130, 140, and I'll just slow up. And it's like I'll slow up, go back down to 80, and next thing you know, they're fucking calm. Yeah. So uh, I get Jeez, lucky. Jeez, man. Yeah, I get really. Lucky. Be careful, dude. Just just stay vigilant. We we were talking a little bit about Joel, who has the like the record setting 2.0 turbo Accord. Yeah, he's got the record for the quarter mile time, and then I, I think he's got. The, at this point, the most known high horsepower record. I think he made like four, 470 or 480 wheels. He has 95,000 miles and yeah. he's had no issues with his engine. No, 90 or 95. That engine, he said in a post that the engine's never been cracked. Or Dude! This feels good, man. I, that wasn't even half throttle. Yeah. That was just. You're not hitting it, I can tell. And the intake? <laughs> do, you mind, do you mind if I take this turn? Oh, you can take it. So we're at like 40. Ah, oh, yeah. We can hit it if we want to. Of course I want to. Wow. This thing hauls, man. Well, that was what, like 65 to 100? Not bad for a bone stock car. <laughs> yeah. That's it sounds so good. Try normal mode for a bit. Oh Yeah, so you feel a big difference in throttle response the downshifts are a little weird in sport when you hit the brake Because it'll try to keep the rpms up high. Okay, let me Try normal mode for a bit. Oh Yeah, so you feel a big difference in throttle response. Wait, I swear this thing's way faster in sport mode So I, I just noticed coming to a stop that the brakes are they're super strong. Yeah, they're not bad. Like, I want to go big brake kit. Do these, I, do these have big brakes from the factory? The uh, sport? I don't. They, I think they have bigger brakes, but I don't think that's considered a big brake kit. Okay. I know that you can put the Genesis Brembos on this car. Interesting. Yeah. 
I was told that you have to swap it though. It's like opposite. So the like left to right, right to left. Oh, that sound. Oh, dude, this just. Yeah, put it. Uh, you know, it's it won't let you at the corner. Oh, okay. So good, man. Do they have like quad tips for this car? Yeah, you can get quad oh, tips dude, that would look stop. really good. It looks good. It looks really good. Have you thought about? Because you said that you wanted to keep this thing a little stealthy, so you don't stick out and get unwanted attention. Yeah. Have you thought of getting a catted downpipe? And I don't know. I'm going, I'm going yeah, you set your mind. Yeah, there's no chance I'm going cat in. You want the full freaking potential. The, all the boosts. I like the way it feels in sport. Oh, it's nice. I mean, in... It, it never leaves sport, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's just... Yeah. I mean, barely any gas, and it just goes so effortlessly. Dude, I don't even think we went over one pound of boost right there. No. Just because it's a, it's a bigger engine, the 2.0, I mean... It has so much more natural power before you even need the turbo. The 1.5 is different than the SI because it had such little power before the turbo. Yeah, so you have to be in boost if you want to move somewhat decently. Oh, dude. Oh, there's a blow off. Hey, give her hell off the line, man. <laughs> you I'll be, give it a little bit. Yeah, you, know, you gotta floor it off the line. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we weren't even in. S oh, wait, are in oh, we are. Yeah, Dude. Hey, I'll tell you what. That advanced VSA works really well. Oh, yeah, you should see it without it. <laughs> Yeah, it'll still it'll, it'll spin regardless. So you can't get away from the spin. But you have good tires. You have Michelin. I mean, these aren't Pilot Sports, but no, they're Michelin. I think they're just their all seasons. Man, and the transmission, it gives you that that kick. Oh yeah. When you shift, and it's just so. Oh, I love it. Especially yeah. Come up from the CVT, get to actually feel the car shift. So what got you into Hondas? To be honest, when I moved here, I just liked the Accords and I needed something. So I got that and uh, kind of just like started doing stuff to it. Because I always, I mean, I had a crazy sound system in my truck. So I was always into doing stuff like that. What kind of truck did you have? I had a four-door F-150. Okay. But I had the back seats ripped out, 412s on two 4Ks. Jeez, man. Yes, yeah, so I had a pretty big. My 1.5 had a, a sundown on 2,000 watts, but I just didn't want to make the sunder fleek. <laughs> so I didn't put it in. God damn yeah. it, dude. This must have a better sound system than the 1.5, though. It's the same thing, I think. Okay. I swear it sounds better, but it just might be like me just thinking that. You're more than welcome to drive it around more if you want to. Are you sure? Yeah. Dude, I feel bad, man. I don't. I just, well, you can take this shit for another hour. I, I just floored around. your car twice. Dude, I could care less, man. We'll do, we'll do a lap. Yeah. You still haven't done a 40 year old. And it's so quiet, too. Yeah. It's got that sound deadening. Well, it still has the little active noise control and all that crap. Oh, it has that, too? Yeah, it's got Okay, I knew the Type R and the and the SI had it. I didn't know the Accords had it too. Yeah, the dual the 2.0 Sports. Uh, well, the, my 1.5 had it too, but the 2.0 Sports have everything. Like this has the it'll light up the mirrors if someone's next to you and stuff like that. Like it has everything. The sunroof, heated seats, all that crap. You can unplug the ASC if you don't like it. Yeah, it's under here. Yeah. I had to do that with my sound system. And for all you wondering, you have to if you put a subwoofer in and you don't have a subwoofer already. It's good to know. Yeah, if you don't have, a, I don't know which models come with a sub, but if you don't get your sub signal from the sub itself and you get the sub signal from the rear deck, your sub will pick up the ANC. So it'll, it'll literally uh, hit base when you accelerate. So you have to unplug it. Yeah, I sold my SI with it unplugged, but uh, I sold it to a guy who was subscribed to my channel. So I'm sure he knows that it was unplugged. Effort. I it in a third year. 
Ooh. Oh, I bet we could probably hear more of the intake with the window down a little bit. I don't know what gear. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, there's a blow off. So you got to put it in your own gear to really get that sound. You can get it in auto, but you have to like, yeah, you have to just hit it. This is something else, man. I really like this car. <laughs> get, if you can, get it and get down to 40 and put it in third and hit it. Okay. Is it going to continue to make me? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it'll make you, it'll, you have to shift it. Oh, okay. It'll shift for you if you redline it, but. Not bad. Yeah. So now I got to pay attention. Yeah, these pedal shifters are cool. Yeah, I never bad. even tried these out when I drove Jose's car. It makes it, if you, like, if you hit it at 40 compared to doing a 40 roll on a third gear, it's a huge fucking difference. Okay. I haven't figured out brake boosting yet, but I've been trying to. Because it's yeah. really confusing with these cars. I've never done it, but I, when I get the type R, I will. Well, I've been told you basically have to floor the brake and the gas at the same time. So Something like that. It's a little sketchy, too, in yeah. my opinion. It's like, goddamn. I mean, it's definitely not good for the car. That's why I had to have it. If you got tough competition, I mean. Do what you gotta do. You can do the 40 roll here if you want to. I don't care. I ride reckless as it is. So, third gear. Oh! If you hold the right paddle for like a couple seconds, it'll turn it off and put it back in the auto. So, you do add E85 with your Phillips? Yeah, about a gallon and a half. Could Derek? Yeah. Was it not an option for Derek to just tune on 91? Yeah, it was an option if I wanted my car to be slower than a K-turn. Because Derek won't tune your car to where he sees heavy knock control. So yeah. like it like me doing that, like I mean he was just like literally you're running four or four degrees of timing with less timing than I have the stage two tune. He's like I normally get away with ten on ninety-three octane. Okay. So without saying it, he basically said I'm putting water in my car. Yeah. So I just was like, can I, I know I, I've heard of people putting uh, E85, like a gallon of it. And he's like, yeah, you won't hurt your fuel system or anything like that. And then I found out too that when you add a flex fluid, all you're adding is a sensor to read the level of ethanol. So uh -huh. so it's not even like, like you could technically run E30, but you have to have your math on point without that sensor. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I, I could be wrong on that. I know they'll grill me in the comments if I am, but... Huh. I'm, I'm almost positive that it's literally just the ethanol sensor that it adds. Because like as you see it, it'll that. read 0% and there's ethanol in the car. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that that's all it does Yeah, for what, 450 bucks. But I would pay that to have peace of mind if I'm going to run ethanol. Yeah. There's a big difference between putting a gallon and a half to four or five gallons of E. Like it's a, a huge difference to run E30. As far as I'm concerned, you can't even run E85 in these cars. You have to run E40, E30 most of the time. Some people run E50, but it's rare. This is a fun little road. Yeah. Can't go too fast because the wealthy folk will get mad. We'll call the cops. Well, I'm excited to drive Jose's because he he's, he lowered his right. Yeah, he. I, I could be wrong, but I think he's on Eibach or Megan Springs. Okay. And then he's got 25 millimeter spacers all the way around it. Very cool. So it looks perfect. Ooh. The blow off sound is nice. Can you still use paddle shifters when you're in normal mode? Yes, but it won't stay. Okay. Like it'll, like you can downshift it or upshift it, but it won't stay. It'll, it'll I want to try those again. That was cool. Seats are comfortable. It's fast. It's got even more potential. It's got aftermarket. It's got a following. I mean, this is a this is a good car. Really good car. I mean, I really haven't even cracked the potential on this car. It's literally stock except the intake. But it's too well, so. they Honda, you know, and in, obviously intentionally thwarts the potential from the factory with a smaller turbo. There's so much more potential. We're definitely gonna have to give him some runs when I get the Type R. Oh, I would love to. Man. I'll get a couple mods on it. Uh, well, depending on when you get the Type R, this might be full bolt-on. 
Oh, dude, your backup camera is way better than <laughs> the SIs. No competition. Yeah. Dude, this other view is terrible. This view. That's why I have. Oh, yeah, uh, it's a little weird. Uh, and then I even have this thing. What? Yeah. That's sweet. And then it'll tell me when they're left and right or wherever people are coming. I want to show that. Okay, so can you do that again? A oh, little cameras. That is awesome. It's like a bird's eye view. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you know all the differences between the Type R engine and the Accord engine. Well, I know it's got same compression, same, like, I mean, I know the downpipes work for each. You can, once you have a Type R turbo, you can do a charge pipe for the type, like, you can do all that stuff. So I literally think the turbo is it and then maybe internals. But... For sure, we'll get some runs. Do you know anyone who's, who has a car that's slow enough to race my ninth gen? Probably, dude. I probably know a few. Set me, set me something up, man. <laughs> set something up. Help a brother out. I got a bunch of slow cords. I got some other. I, there's a bunch. There's a bunch around here, though, man. You'll find them. I might. How much this is? The, do these weigh? Three thousand. Like thirty. They probably weigh thirty-five hundred with me in it. Okay. If you know anyone with a tuned one point five Accord, I do. I might give that a shot. Yeah, I do. Because this only weighs twenty-nine hundred pounds. But it'll weigh about the same. I think it weighs 3,100. Okay. Weighs 32. I'll give it a shot. I don't think I'll, I might not win, but yeah, I know I'll try. Dude, to be honest, everyone's scared now that all these CVTs are blowing up. A bunch of people yeah. I know put them back to stock. Yeah. Including me. That's why I got this car. Because I'm like, dude, I want to do more. It's slow to me still. So it's like, no, nope, but I'm going to blow this freaking car up. Yeah, man. So <clears throat> I just didn't even. You're not, you're not going to blow this up. If Joel is over 400 horsepower, setting records on the quarter mile and he's got 95,000 miles with all of that i mean these engines are freaking solid dude yeah, i can't wait to get my type r i'm gonna i'm gonna beat the crap out of it oh yeah especially brake boost in it and all that says that these transmissions are fucking old yeah i don't i don't think i, I know one per i i not one person but i know a, uh one person posted that they blew their 2-0 but it was the high load low rpm yeah. So like ride like yeah, you basically gotta be if I'm about a manual that. eighth gear I can twenty four PSI it but if I'm at two thousand RPM it'll... Yeah. So I mean that's that's like turbo cars one oh one. See I didn't know that. So I was like yeah. learning this stuff I'm like what the Dude, hell? Dude, okay, go good. go on YouTube and watch well I mean I I you I I know you know it now, I'm not insulting your intelligence but oh, no, dude, you could have sold my intelligence long ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know anything. When I first got the SI, I looked up a bunch of videos from Engineering Explained. You know the guy on YouTube? Heard of it, I've never Dude, he's a, he's yeah he's he's brilliant. He's literally an engineer, and he became a YouTuber. He like taught me all the stuff to not do, <laughs> and I need some of that. <laughs> I was able to beat the shit out of the SI, and it didn't blow up. So.